Is that is that really the way it's seen inside of Israel? We have to respond here. I think it's not only our you know our right, but also our obligation to you know def defend our country. And I think that what we're doing right now is trying to assess what the options are, mm -hmm. uh, not only in Israel but together with our. Uh, international and regional allies in the Middle East. Okay, let's talk about that for a moment. Um, you know, obviously there, there are very, very aggressive options that are on the table. You could, as Iran tried to do unsuccessfully for the most part, you could attack directly in Iran and maybe even go after things like nuclear facilities and the like. But what other options, what other possibilities do you know are, are being at least considered at this point? You know what? I don't think it's smart to go into details right now because, oh. um, and of course, I don't pretend to have the, the full information right now. But I think what what's really clear for us is that we want to bring peace and stability to the to, to the Middle East, to our region, and to do that, we cannot appease um, dictator, you know, dictatorship regimes like just like the Iranian regime. Um, and I think that what we saw on on you know the night before last night, as you well mentioned, was not only Israel intercepting. The 99 percent of the projectiles, the ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, and drones launched by Iran, but we did it together with an international coalition led yes. by the United States, together with the UK, France, but also some of our regional partners, Georgia and Saudi Arabia. And I think that this is exactly the key, not just to counter Iran, but also to bring further peace and stability. That is the mo future model for our region. It's interesting, right? And in it's almost like a strange juxtaposition of that in the weeks leading up to this. There have been so many stories done. We've talked about it ourselves here about how the world at large is kind of turning against Israel or there's not as much support for its war efforts. We even have all these protesters today, mind you, that we're watching all around this country and stopping traffic, pro-Palestinian protesters. But you bring up the larger point that when push came to shove and Israel needed its allies to stand up and def help defend it itself over the weekend, that they were there, the United States, all these other countries. So what does that tell you about support for Israel around the world right now. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think that what President Biden uh, showcased during the, the weekend is that his commitment to Israel's security is ironclad. But it's not only President Biden, it's also in Europe. And I think there is a very uh, basic uh, and deep understanding that when it comes to Israel's uh, security, Israel's, you know, even existence in the region, there is a very strong commitment because this is exactly what the Iranians are trying to do. You know, right. they're talking about wiping out Israel of the map of the world, and they mean it. And we know that, uh, you know, the Western world, uh, the big democracies in the world stand with Israel, and, and well, they stand strong. At the same time, as I mentioned, you do have these protests, um, especially today, these pro-Palestinian protests. You're in Chicago. You probably saw what happened at O'Hare earlier today. They were stopping traffic there. This is San Francisco, I believe. We're watching, again, the Golden Gate Bridge. We've seen it in New York. What goes through your mind when you see all of that? You know what, I really think that if these people try to get sympathy for their cause, this is not the right way to do it. They make a lot of people very angry, and you know what, I, I think they totally fail in what they're trying to achieve. So you don't think they're, they're not accomplishing what their, their goal, whatever they're setting out to do? You, don't you think know, it's I, I really yeah. try to separate, you know, politics and criticism over certain politics of Israel, which is, which is you know, very, very legitimate. You know, we, we, we conduct dialogues with our friends here in the United States, in Europe, right. and our regional partners, but that is not about Israeli policies. It's about anarchism. They're, you know, speaking of Chicago, Chicago is going to host the DNC here in August in the summer, and I think this is just uh, one big rehearsal to the DNC. This is what they're aiming for. All right, Ian Ham, uh, Colin, uh, live from Chicago. Thank you for coming on today. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.